Hello everybody! For this video my first plan was that I will show to you how to make some zinc based battery which have the voltage of 2 volts. Uh, and the chemistry was based on manganese and zinc. But now I have another idea. I see a lot of people trying to make this uh, zinc hexaciano ferrite battery. So this battery have around 1.8 volts, uh, which is also the operating voltage for this kind of battery. Uh, but I was thinking if we can modify this type of battery, if we can get the voltage even higher. So this was the cathode which was a mix from uh, manganese dioxide and carbon black on this carbon fiber but no need for this one uh, this separator we need this separator and of course the zinc anode I will clean a little bit because the internet, I mean the YouTube, is crazy about this zinc hex Satsiano ferrite battery. So today, like I said, we will try to make some modified version of this type of battery. So what you need to do, I mean, this one is my first try to do something like this. I don't know if I will get some results or not, but what you need to do, I mean, what you need uh, for the materials is of course the zinc anode, some separator, which will not mix two electrolytes together. This is not good, but is the best which I can find right now. So this separator is also used in lithium ion batteries. So to get this one, uh, you need to put apart some lithium ion battery and you will find a lot of this. Or uh, this separator is also called cell guard and you can also buy. So you need to this separator, zinc anode. Uh, for the positive electrode I will use this carbon fiber, of course. And you see here the yellow one. This is this zinc hexaciano ferrite material. Together with carbon black, I will mix these two together. Here I have the electrolyte for the positive uh, for the positive electrode and is two molar uh, zinc sulfate. So we'll mix two these two to, uh, materials together a little bit more of of two molar zinc sulfate and uh, you get this nice pasta so right now I will impregnate impregnate this carbon fi uh, this carbon fiber So this battery will be some sort of dual electrolyte type of battery. So this battery will use two different uh, electrolytes. On the positive I will use this zinc sulfate electrolyte.
and on the negative electrode I will use some potassium hydroxide. When I try these two combination of electrolytes in, um, in manganese dioxide and zinc combination I get uh, almost 2.1 volts. But I have, I have no idea what voltage I will get with this zinc hexociano ferrite battery. I think this will be enough of this active material. Okay, that's it. So for the negative electrode I also need some tissue paper in the same size that is this electrode made from zinc. Like so. Uh, so this tissue paper will only hold the negative electrode, uh, I mean the negative uh, electrolyte in place. And this is the negative, uh, I mean the electrolyte which I will use for the negative electrode. And this is one molar of potassium hydroxide with half of gram uh, or even less of zinc oxide. Zinc oxide is in this electrolyte because when you recharge the zinc ions will go to the negative electrode to electroplate and that's it. So I will put this potassium hydroxide and zinc oxide on the negative electrode like so and on the top I will put this uh, separator which, I, which you can find in lithium ion batteries that's it and here I have the cathode the current collector is made from carbon fiber uh, the active material is uh, this zinc hexocyanoferrite uh, material and the conductive material is carbon black. Everything mixed together and impregnated, impregnated on this carbon fiber. For the positive electrolyte I will use this zinc sulfate uh, which is 2 molar cool zinc sulfate and that's it I don't know what will happen right now but we will see here the electrolyte will soak good Whew. And the moment of true. So now, now I will see what I get from this setup.
No, not bad. 2.4 volts. <laughs> really not bad. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, when I make, I mean, guys, if you see uh, my video, uh, which I make this high voltage uh, aluminum air battery, I use some some sulfuric acid on the positive for the positive uh, electrolyte and potassium hydroxide for the negative electrolyte and here the negative electrolyte is the same uh, is uh, this uh, this this uh, potassium hydroxide uh, together with some zinc oxide and the positive electrolyte is only a zinc sulfate active material for this battery is of course uh, zinc hexaciano ferrite material and yeah really really awesome yeah the battery need to settle a little bit but i use also this separator before and i think i get some penetration of this uh, separator but yeah you see 2.3 volts almost 2.4 uh, volts actually i don't know you cannot see uh, on the camera but the led is really really bright You see? <laughs> really, really nice. Yeah, guys, that's it. So in the beginning was my plan a little bit different but i see a lot of this video on youtube uh, which create replicates and so on this uh, zinc hexaciano ferrite battery and like i said my first plan was to make some uh make some manganese zinc uh dual electrolyte battery uh, but in this type I get 2 volts around 2 volts 2.1 volts and with this one I get almost 2.4 volts normal um, normal voltage of this type of battery is 1.8 but here you get 2.3 or uh, I mean 2. Point, almost 2.4 volts in basic you can also recharge this battery if you make experiments with some carbon zinc battery and if you use some uh, potassium hydroxide together with zinc oxide uh, you see that you will get nice electroplating of the negative electrode with this kind of electrolyte the zinc sulfate is some standard electrolyte for this uh, zinc hexaciano ferrite battery and yeah so guys, that's it, and we see us in the next video. Bye.